Good afternoon! Hi everyone, how's it going? So, I just want to share a special wine today and kind of live taste it with you guys because not mo not many people have tasted Spanish wine before uh, and especially now that there's a 25% tax added to all French wine imported to the country it is time to bring drink Spanish wine! So, um, today I wanted to talk about wine I'm like super excited about um, I, I know it's kind of hard to read the label but I will definitely have a better photo of it anyways. Spanish label might be a little uh, tricky, but in this label, the the name of the winery is actually down here. Bodegas literally means house or winery. Um, Bella Plana is their last name. So Bodegas Bella Plana is the name of the winery, and he actually makes three different labels. And this label is the Palaje del Man uh, Minca. And Palaje means the place, the Minca is just the place it is coming from. So, da da, that's the name, but that's just the name. It is like a really delicious, spicy little firecracker. It is from kind of the southern part of Spain, from Granada, Spain, and it's truly a hidden gem. Gym. Um, the whole winery is only five hectare, and it is on the top of the Baza mountain ranges. So it is literally 3,000 feet in elevation. And when it comes to high elevation wine, you get really cool, good sun exposure and really cool nights. You get a really nice temperature fluctuations throughout the day. So you're able to produce a wine that is very ripe, but still retains really good acidity. That's another reason why I love this wine. Um, and of course, because it is so high, high up there, all the farming are done organically. All the grapes are hand-picked in like 20 pound basket, tiny little basket, and there is hardly any diseases up there, which is another really great thing. And um, this is a wine uh, produced by a very passionate young uh, Catalan named it's, it looks like Luis, but it's two L's, so in Spanish that's, that's pronounced like a Y, so U.S. So U.S. Bellapana is a young winemaker who produced this. He only makes about 9,300 bottles a year, super tiny production. So that's a uh, ghost, and my math is not that great, but probably about 750 cases. And it's done with 100% Tempranillo grape, which is a grape that they use in the famous region of Rioja. But Let's, you know what, stop, I'm going to stop talking about the wine, let's taste it. Um, I opened this wine maybe a couple hours ago. I had this already, but, um, but we're going to taste it together. So, the thing about this wine is that it immediately has a lot of red fruits right off the bat. I get raspberry, dry cranberry, strawberry, just a, like, and a little bit of blackberries. A little good mixture of berry fruits, both light and dark, but mostly red and it's really good in intensity. I had this bottle open for probably four hours and this sip has been out for like four hours and it's still super intense. In fact, it's actually getting better, I think, the more you decant it. And the great thing about this wine is that if you're here from California, a lot of the time you're used to drinking California Cabernet, which can be very ripe and really kind of fruity, jammy, over the top, very highly extracted. But this wine is actually very intense, but it's not over the top. It's got just ripe fruit, and it doesn't feel like it's just very super duper over the top perfumey, which is amazing. Mmm. And there is also just a tiny touch of smoke at the end, which makes this wine very sexy. I really like it. Now we're gonna drink it. <sighs> okay, decanting help. I drank it when I first opened it four hours ago. It was good, but once you decant it, it smooths it out even more. Um, this is a very, this has got very great kind of structure. The tendon is holding well, and you can feel the, you don't get, I don't get it on the nose as much as after I swallow it. It's very classic to use American oak in Spain, and this is the case too. They use 100% American oak, and they age it for about 13 months. So once you swallow it retronasally, so the, the smell you get after you swallow coming back through your nose, I can get, uh, that dill pickle, that has a very signature sense of American oak and a lot of cooking spices. But it's all very well integrated together. And the great thing about this wine is the acidity is very lively and fresh. It helps hold the wine together. Acid is the backbone of 
um, holding a wine together and allowing to age. And judging by how lively the acidity it is on this wine, it has it just getting to its prime has many more years to go. Mm. Mm. It is beautiful. Okay, this wine because of the great acidity begs for food. I am actually craving a carne asada tacos right now. I think a paella would do really great with this or any kind of like spicy, flavorful meat dishes, um, Spanish dishes. Oh, octopus would go really well too, especially a big octopus. But it's drinking really well on its own as well. Sometimes you have like, for example, when we, we have California wine, that's what we call a cocktail wine that drinks really well together, but it's not quote unquote very food friendly because it will take over um, the food, it will take over the dishes because it's got so much personality. On the other hand, a lot of the time you have over wine that is just so astringent that if you don't have a food dish in front of it, you can't drink it on its own. This is kind of a cool right in between. You can um, drink it on its own as a cocktail wine or I think it's going to go great with some food and I can't wait. And then I think the best thing about this is a wine of this quality Oh my god, the strawberry nose is really popping out now. You, you absolutely decant this wine. Because I didn't decant it, but I poured a little bit out for four hours and it's perfect right now. So if you want to, just put in a big decanter an hour, an hour and a half, two hours later, this one will be singing. So going back to the amazing thing about wine from Spain is the fact that a wine of this quality here in the United States will cost you at least $50. But in Spain, because the labor, the land, everything is cheap, this bottle is actually only $28.88 I'm selling for. But because it is almost Thanksgiving and I want to share this wine with everybody, and we're doing a special this week for the Thanksgiving week or from now until Thanksgiving, if you buy four bottle lees, we're gonna give you an automatic 20% off on top of already great price of 28.88 and we're gonna take out shipping for you if you want to order any more wine on top of that we'll ship it all like as long as you get four or more of this bottle we'll ship whatever wine you already have with us whatever else wine you want to order with it we'll just ship it all to you because I want you to get this and get to eat it with turkey before uh, before the holiday so another thing I'm like really happy to announce because it's such a small production I said it's only about like 700 cases made this year I actually have the last few cases in the entire world and I'm super happy about this. I'm super happy I get to share this with you guys. So yeah, I mean, I think you really just have to drink it to believe it. It is absolutely delicious and it was really fun drinking with you guys. It's a little lonely, I kind of wish one of you guys were here to drink with me, but maybe next time. Either way, thank you for watching. Cheers!